All right, so here I am in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Where in Ann Arbor? I don't exactly know. I'm across the street from this place, but regardless, I know what it is I'm in, and it's this beautiful vehicle right here. I really, really like this. This is the all new from the ground up, 2024 Buick Infista, but it's in the ST, the sport touring trim. With that, let's get going. All right, so here's the thing. I will be having a ride review of this vehicle along with the Avenir. Basically, you know, anything I can get my hands on when it comes to the new Buick Vista. But I wanna do a walk around video on this right now because there's a lot of things I wanna show. I wanna explain what this vehicle is all about. This is now the entry level vehicle that you get into when it comes to the Buick lineup. Next, of course, is the Buick Encore GX. So as we already know, the Encore is now gone. And this is going to basically be, in a sense, its replacement, but this is like any other, unlike, pardon me, any other Buick vehicle that we have seen to date. And yes, you might see some similarities to its brother, sister vehicle, which is the Chevy Trax. This is now going to have a similar setup to it in terms of the fact that it is now going to have more of a sedan slash crossover mix to it. So it has a sleeker roof line here, more lowered like a sedan, but it has the capabilities that we're gonna see in a crossover. It's about 11 inches longer actually, and you know, a couple more decimal points probably, but about 11 inches longer than the uh, than the Encore GX. So again, it's a completely different design vehicle and I think it looks really, really sharp. I love how the, I love the white and the black contrast. We're gonna talk about that because we're gonna talk about what the Sport Touring trim is, but let's keep talking about just what the Invista is in general. It is meant to get people who are in sedans or in cars into the market and again price points which i'm going to put up here in both canadian and american i mean it's hard to ignore the fact that this is a very well priced vehicle for some of the things i'm going to mention today what you're going to get and first and foremost one of the things if you didn't already know this the buick has what they call a luxury warranty so you have a four and a six year warranty unlike say the chevy or a gmc or a toyota or whatever which is three and five years this is four and six years no let's start out front here they have taken some styling cues on this vehicle from the Buick Wildcat EV. In fact, not just the styling cues, they were actually designing these two vehicles in Warren at the GM design facility side by side with one another. So you're gonna see a lot of the cues from that Wildcat EV put into this. If you didn't already know, the Wildcat was one of the first ever concept vehicles designed. And if you didn't know this, Buick has a long history. They've been around since like 1901. So they know what they're doing, right? But no longer is this your grandparents' vehicle. I mean, check it out. This is definitely a sporty looking vehicle, hence the ST. Now, right here is one of the things I like. You have the Trials Tri-Shield logo. This is a new logo. The first time we saw this, well, I think it was on the Buick Wildcat, but from a production vehicle was on the Encore GX. Now we're seeing it on the Invista and it's gonna go forward. If you didn't know this, we're gonna see it, of course, on electric vehicles because my understanding is we're gonna have all electrification by Bu from Buick by 2030, which is really sounds like a far away. It's not that far away in the car world. Down here though, as you're gonna see, there's that ST uh, a designation, of course, in black. You're gonna have a black grill here, and that's where you're gonna see a lot of the ST uh, coming from. But before we get back there, let's talk about what's underneath the hood. The only offering available in this ST trim, and the other two trims, by the way, that are available, which are the preferred, which is entry trim level, and then your Avenir, which is the top trim level on either end of this, the basically sandwiches in terms of the trim levels, is the 1.2 liter three cylinder turbo, 137 horsepower, 140. 62 i believe it is a pound feet of torque um, but that's going to be the same amongst all of them and it's going to be made it to a six-speed transmission and yes that is the same that we're seeing in the chevrolet tracks however you're getting a lot more i should say a lot more you're getting some other things on this vehicle that you're not getting on the chevy tracks again including that you know four-year uh six-year warranty okay now Getting back to the sport touring trim, again, we're gonna have black accents, the like piano gloss black along the bottom. That's gonna carry on all the way over the wheel wells, all the way down along the side, and of course, back here along the rear bumper. So I really like that black, you know, black finishing, that black look that they've done. They're also gonna have right here, 19 inch black gloss spoke wheel. Now, this is an option. It comes standard in the ST trim with an 18 inch gloss black wheel. When you get the 19 inch gloss black wheel, two things are gonna happen. First of all, you're gonna get the 19 inch gloss black wheel, but you're also gonna get a different rear suspension, the Watts rear suspension. That is something that's coming standard on the Avenir trim. So it's a little higher end suspension. It's a good crossover between, you know, a little sporty handling, but also the comfort that we're used to seeing in the Buick. And of course, comfort is one of the things that this has really, you know, 
gone for, I'm sure. Not to mention, I know they have Buick quiet tuning technology, but those are things I'm gonna talk about in the ride review, so you have an idea. Now, look at the back of this. This is one of my favorite parts. This looks like a high-end luxury vehicle, as it, as it is, right? I love the, how the back end looks. I like this here, they got the little spoiler coming off the back here. And again, with that sloping sedan style and that planted style, it looks really sharp. You're gonna notice though, no rear windshield wiper because again, rain's gonna come right off there anyways, right? The way it's designed. You're gonna have rear park assist on this thing. Um, we're gonna talk about some more of the safe, safety features once we're inside here. Power lift gate though, power tailgate. You're not gonna get that on the Chevy tracks, by the way, in any trim level. And we're seeing it here on the sport trim. Right back here, you actually have a spare tire in this one. Uh, a lot of the vehicles in this size, in this category, you're just gonna have a tire inflator and there's some actually a little bit of storage down there. 60-40 split in the seats. These seats will drop down here, let me show you. Very easily, they fold almost flat, which is surprising considering the size of this vehicle. There you go. So you got a lot of storage. In fact, when the seats are up, it's 20 cubic feet, I believe. And when the seats are down, it's about 42 cubic feet of storage. Another thing I wanna talk about, I'm gonna get in the back seat, but I'm gonna go around here, is what I was very shocked by is how much room there actually is in the back seat of what this vehicle looks like from the outside. Now, I drove this vehicle here to where we're parked, okay? I'm six foot two, so I did not change the seating position at all when I got out of the vehicle. I'm gonna get back in here and sit behind myself, all right? And check this out. I actually have leg room. My feet can go underneath here. I have space between my knees. There's a cutout here. It's hard to see, uh, but the cutout, maybe I can show you this way. It's a cutout here, so I'm not, I'm not even slouching. And I have a little bit of headroom here, even with my hat on. So very impressed with the, the size of this back seat. Of course, we have leather trim in this. If you get into the preferred, it's leatherette, but this is a leather and check out. I'm gonna show you more on the front too. I don't know if it's not gonna come well in this camera in person, it looks so much better, but it's got this blue stitching throughout, which I really, really like. Back here, you're also gonna have the USB, USB-C ports. There is no ventilation back here though. Kind of one full pie, I guess you would say, but it is what it is. Oh, and there's your shark fin antenna back here, paint matched, of course. By the way, if you get into higher trim level in the Avenir, as opposed to having black down there, that is paint matched to whatever color the vehicle is and the tires or the wheels, pardon me, are 19s like these, but they're a pearl nickel. So definitely a different look between these two vehicles. All right, heading in the inside, there's your power tailgate button there. Obviously all your controls for your windows, your mirrors, so that's pretty straightforward. But look at, uh, now it stands out a little more. Look at the, look at that blue piping you're gonna see along here. And there's blue stitching here, not to mention the ST in the, in the headrest. I think that looks very, very sharp. <clears throat> As we head inside, we've got some different kind of, I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, using my phone here, some different touches here on the door, um, some soft trim here again with the stitching, that stitching goes through and that trim all the way along across the dash. And if we back up here, I'm gonna back the seat up if I can a little bit more actually. Surprisingly, I can. Look at this, I can stretch my whole leg out. I'm not short and look at this, I can stretch my legs all the way out. Look at that. I can stretch my legs all the way out in this vehicle. So I'm very impressed with the size. All right, flat bottom steering wheel, that looks sharp. Um, I really do like the looks of that. There's your Tri-Shield logo, of course. You're gonna see heated steering wheel here. You are gonna have heated seats. No cooled seat option, I don't see in this. Um, and unlike the Avenir trim, uh, we only have one climate, one area of climate control. It's uh, You have dual climate control in the Avenir trim. So one little difference, again, gotta be a reason why you bump up to the next trim level, I guess, right? Again, there's a, there's a, I say adaptive cruise uh, that is available in the higher trim, but um, that is uh, IntelliBeam headlights. Uh, you got side blinds on alert in the mirrors, but here is the big thing. Right now they're saying, I think this is the largest in class, all right? 19 inches of overall screen, one piece of big glass going across. This here is the touchscreen. You have 11 inches of overall touchscreen here, and over here you have eight inches of programmable screen in front of the driver. Now, this kind of got it like almost that logo, like the, you know, almost like the lights out front, by the way, right? Which are, I, gotta, I don't even know if I showed that to you. I gotta go back to the lights here and talk about them uh, here in a second. But it's it's almost like the same design with this kind of check mark, shark fin. I don't even know what you call it. Um, but I really like that design. Of course, you down here, you have your, your gear selector. You have wireless charging down here, auto stop start technology. Now, one of the things I did not talk about yet, and we're gonna talk over on the back, and then we're gonna go around the front to look at the headlights real quick, because I'm gonna talk about something there too. But when it comes to back here, see we have Invista here, we have a nice Buick badging here with the logo, we already talked about that. But right here, there's something that's missing that was usually there, right? 
That's right. That's where the all-wheel drive badge will go. You're not going to see that on a BMW Convista. Why is that? Well, it's because it's the same as the Trax. It is going to be coming in a front wheel configuration only. And hear me out. Get a good set of winter tires and the price you're paying for the features you're getting on this thing. I am. I would be very surprised. And I live in one of the most northern climates in North America. If you're going to have an issue with this with just winter tires on it. The common conception and misconception is you have to have all wheel drive. And anywhere south of like Ohio, it's probably not even going to be a concern. Okay. But one of the other things I want to talk about when I talked about the grill and the else. This is, these are your uh, daytime driving lights, okay? LED, of course. Then you have your headlights that are LED down here. No fog lights on this one, though, all right? But that is the 2024 Buick Invista ST. Thanks so much for watching.